Hello, uh, welcome to Bugs in My Backyard podcast, and the kids are gone uh, this week. They're visiting um, their grandparents, so we're probably not going to have a full podcast, but I thought I would, I was out in my yard just looking at the flowers, and I thought I'd do something kind of cool and just show you uh, just what a little bit of plant diversity some flowers can do if you want to attract great insects to your yard. So we're going to walk over here to one of my newer beds and um, actually show you a, uh, a milkweed plant, not your uh, a different species of milkweed, not the um, kind that oftentimes you buy in um, uh, like at a greenhouse. It's something I, I ordered as a more unique variety, but um, here's the thing. I was just spending time looking at this flower and honest to goodness I've seen at least 13 species of wasps and bees on it like that's how many oh 14 <laughs> just saw 14 uh, one I hadn't counted before that's how much is it, how much activity is going on here and and by the way not one of those I counted was a honeybee so that just shows you the great diversity of our native bees and wasps and how important they are to pollinating um, and I've, I just hung out here for like 10 5 10 minutes and none of them stung me they just flew around me I was probably a nuisance but nothing that uh, really bothered them too much let's see if I can get in close here there's a uh, great black wasp they're huge really big um, we had some uh, golden digger wasps on here earlier a whole bunch of them there's some back here Let's see if you can see see the golden digger wasp uh, back there those are some of the big ones I've seen some that are super super tiny um, including one right here it's actually just hanging out looks like a little bee Can't tell the species. Oh, there's one of the, there's one of the big ones too. There's a big one. Again, these guys and ladies <laughs> are um, mostly solitary, meaning they nest in the ground. They don't have big hives, uh, big colonies of of uh, of of wasps and bees living together, and that means they're generally not as aggressive. It really, unless I'm physically touching them and bothering them they're just simply not going to sting me um, they don't have that same instinct that a honeybee or like a paper wasp or kinds of hornets would have there's some other pollinators on here too than just bees and wasps but there's a there's some leaf cutter leaf cutter bees and things over here so I don't know if, uh, if you've gotten a sense of this at all but this this little milkweed plant here is just crawling with uh, crawling with insects. This hyssop is as well, although not not nearly as much as the milkweed. So milkweed, just an amazing plant, and not just for butterflies. I haven't seen a single butterfly on here. It's been all um, all bees and wasps and a few other pollinators, like flies and and a couple beetles. So that'll be that's just a quick video. I thought you'd appreciate that. Again, just put put in a few uh, great pollinator-friendly flowering plants, and you're going to have some really cool displays in the summertime, not just of the flowers, but of all the wildlife that comes to it. So, thanks for watching.